poetry is to language as music is to noise. That's to say, music is noise made special so that you want to value and remember it. And poetry is language made special so you want to, to value and remember it. Of course, I say in the opening sentence, it doesn't always work. Countless thousands of poems have been forgotten. But the book, of, the book I'm doing is about ones that have not. Yeah, I have a chapter on American revolutionaries, that's right, which has um, Emily Dickinson and Walt Whitman. They are completely different um, in lots of ways, but they're both writing a completely new kind of poetry. Both are very exciting poets. Walt Whitman is just astounding. It, I, he, he was a born poet, I think. Um, the use of language is magical. But he expresses a, a sensibility, as it were, a consciousness, which takes in everything. He expresses an Americanness. He's the first poet to express Americanness. Emily Dickinson, heavens, what a wonderful poet, but completely by herself. No one has. You can't imitate Emily Dickinson. You know, she makes up her own punctuation, her own kind of poetry, her own kind of life. She led a secluded life in Amherst, um, hardly went out. Um, but thought and thought and thought about life and about death, very much about death. So wrote poems that are, you, you keep rereading them because you can't quite grasp but always what she means. She found a way of using words, as Whitman did, which are completely new but totally different from him. Yeah, Auden famously said poetry makes nothing happen. However, um, as I point out, he does actually set a, an aim for poetry um, that the poet must, with his unconstraining voice, teach us to rejoice. Um, if you say poetry makes nothing happen, then you forget that poetry is remembered. Poetry, to a lot of people, is very inner and important. In that respect, it doesn't make the outside world different, but it makes the inner world different, and that's eventually what counts. Would the world be different without poetry? It's like saying, would the world be different without music? It's a good question whether you need to know about poets' lives, and I will always say yes. Well, that's to say, I think that art comes from life not the other way around. Not a surprising thing to say, but it is often ignored. Where else does imaginative life come from, but from the life you live? Fitting together the biography and the work is enormously difficult, endlessly controversial. Nonetheless, it's real. I think to deny the, the, the conjunction is absurd, where else can it come from but life?